Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video I'm going to be talking about what I think is the easiest way to install BMX grips if you don't have access to an air compressor. So when it comes to BMX bikes, one of the most often replaced parts on a bike are the grips themselves. And I honestly hold the belief that without the knowledge of a few different methods, putting grips onto a bike can be one of the most stressful and complicated things that you can do while working on a bike. And that is simply because without the knowledge of a few different tricks or an air compressor, putting grips on is just extremely hard because they're made to stick and they're just hard to get all the way onto the bars. It can be extremely and unnecessarily time consuming, but lucky for you, I've got a tip today that uses something that you likely already have in a cabinet at your house, or you can pick up almost anywhere for under $2, and that is a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. This stuff dries extremely fast whenever it comes into contact with air, which will allow you to ride your bike within the next half hour or hour after putting your grips onto your bars sometimes even sooner than that depending upon how much you use which is extremely convenient when you don't have access to an air compressor or any other method for putting grips onto your bike now there are a few other methods like I said but I personally think that this is the easiest and fastest way to do it when you don't have access to an air compressor because of course using an air nozzle is always going to be the easiest and fastest way to put grips onto your bike but if you don't have zip ties or one of the other methods this will work extremely well and how we do it is we literally just take some of this alcohol put it into the grip just like this make sure it's in there maybe maybe get some of it out because you don't need that much you just need enough to get it onto the bar and you just slide it on there if you think you have too much take it off and what just let it air out. This stuff dries super fast, like I said, when it comes into contact with air. So just pretty much do it like this. This seems to be the right amount. And you just slide it onto your bars. And I feel like with the amount that I just put on here, it's going to be dry in minutes. The end of the grip is already sticking. It's just by the flange, which is not sticking yet get it where you want it and it's that simple this is a super quick and easy tip this stuff costs less than two dollars i think it might even be less than a dollar depending upon where you get it usually you'll have some of this sitting around your house and you just saw how easy it was to put a grip onto my bike and the end of the grip as you can see here is already sticking and it's only been like 30 seconds to a minute this should dry pretty quickly. It's going up the grip pretty fast drying out now. Another advantage to isopropyl alcohol is that this is the stuff that people use to clean out cuts with. So if you fall because you got to ride after putting on your grip so fast, you'll at least have something to clean out your cuts with. That's gonna do it for this tip. You really just have to wait on it to dry after this. As you saw, it's happening super fast, so you should be able to ride almost immediately. This is something you might even be able to do at the skate park before you ride. That's how fast it works. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video or it helps you out, let me know in the comments down below. I make tips and tricks videos just like this one every Tuesday. So if you like it, hit the subscribe button down below as well. I also make BMX news videos on Fridays and other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.